Um, so this is my sketchbook from my graduate collection. This is basically how I record all my designs and this is how my brain works when it comes to embroidery. So I'll always start with my initial composition drawings, putting down exactly my inspiration and planning out what sort of composition I want. And I'll then move on to a technical drawing, which is really important in the embroidery industry. Um, so I'll start planning out what sequins and what beads I'm using, whereabouts I want to put them, what direction they're flowing in. So by the time I get to the final sample, I know exactly how I want it to look and it cuts out some of the long process of continual testing. Um, my whole sketchbook works this way. So these are more compositional drawings, but then adding in the beaded texture so you get something a bit different. Yeah, so this is how I work as an embroidery designer. These sorts of ones um, show the different 3D embellishments that I plan to use. I always as well label what sort of fabrics I'm using and where I've got it from. Um, especially, this is especially important in the industry because as an artwork designer, we're always writing down labels and keys that people have to follow and without that, everything goes wrong. <laughs> So yeah, this is just my sketchbook. Lots of lots of technical drawings and little snippets of ideas that I might not always use straight away, but I will always come back to and try and add it in somewhere, or if not, I'll save it for a future design. So where do your ideas come from? So this project, I was inspired by botanicals. So I went to Kew Gardens, did a lot of um, visual observation drawings, but I didn't want to do something that was really obvious and traditional botanicals so I started throwing in botanicals that maybe people don't associate as being traditional so Venus fly traps and um, thistles and all those sorts of spiky textures which then allowed me to go on to create these really 3D structures where really enticed people to want to touch my samples. So what did you study and where did you study? I studied textile design at Birmingham City University but I specialised in embroidery. Um, I first started out as a machine embroiderer and then I learned hand embroidery and my whole career changed and I have done nothing but hand embroidery since. <laughs> Do you have a weakness for any particular thing? Is it beading? Or? Beading, yeah, everything gets beaded. I always start off thinking, oh, I'll chill out, calm down a bit with this sample, do a more illustrative with um, embroidery threads, but by the end it's got beads and Swarovski crystals all over it, so I can't help myself. <laughs> and your work, is it is it... 2D or do you like to have 3D kind of work so it projects out of the garment? I mean, I do do a bit of 2D but generally a lot of my work is 3D so it comes out of the garment. I'm, I do, I specialise in couture embroidery so I'm looking to make a statement really. I want someone to know my work because it's unique and they're often one-off pieces so I go as crazy as possible. <laughs> So where are you working at the moment? I am currently working at Ralph and Russo as a freelance hand embroiderer, as a couture hand embroiderer, so I absolutely love it. I get to work on wedding dresses and red carpet dresses all day long, so brilliant. <laughs> yeah, I'll be at Harrogate show as well and be hopefully starting to teach some lessons as well. People can contact you for things Yes, like for teaching lessons or if you just want to talk. Thank you very much for your time today. Thank you.